Letter of the Law, a play for radio by R.D. Wingfield. Pemberton Police. Don't keep your moment, sir. Right. Good morning, sir. No, the inspector's in court at the moment. Right. I'll give him the message. Thank you. Sorry about that. Can I help you, sir? The name's Shaw. I'm to report to Superintendent Wiltshire at 9.45. Oh, yes, sir. Detective Inspector Shaw, isn't it? Detective Sergeant Shaw. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. So am I. Uh, Superintendent, I'm here, would you? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Sergeant. Uh, take a seat, will you? I'll tell him. And I'm sorry, Superintendent. Nobody can say I'm a fussy man, but I'm not having him. Oh, yes, you are, Inspector. If you think I keep that rubbish, they don't want him, neither do I. You've been screaming for a replacement ever since Edwards was promoted. Yes, and they send me this. We're damn lucky to get a man of Shaw's experience. Ah. Yeah. Now, what's the matter, Nash? Afraid you won't be able to handle him. But because he was once a detective inspector, I can handle him. I just don't want to be involved with trash like him. They should have kicked him out of the force. His past record saved him. He's obviously got friends in the right places. It takes a lot of guts to accept a demotion, you know. He's a comparatively young man. He wouldn't have much difficulty in getting a cushy job in industry. Oh, yes, it must take a lot of guts to smash the jaw of a handcuffed prisoner. If he's Edward's replacement, I don't want him. I'm managing quite all right on my own. But you're not, are you, Inspector? Seven unsold robbers on the trot. Oh. I've got the Chief Constable breathing heavily down my neck over that little lot. Still got his knife into me. No you? one's got their knife into you. But seven robbers, over 200,000 quid knocked off, and not the slightest clue as to who's behind them all. As soon as they get your successes, then they... You're only as good as your last failure. You'll be glad of some help, Nash. You've been overdoing it recently. I've been worried about you. Well, thank you for your concern. And it's misplaced. I'm quite all right. And thank you for offering me the services of ex-Inspector Shaw, which I declined without regret. It wasn't an offer, Inspector. <laughs> Come in. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed, Kendrick. Uh, Detective Sergeant Shaw is here, sir. Oh, he's early in. All right, show him in. Very good, sir. Uh, he won't be wanting me here. No, I'd better see him on my own first, and then I'll hand him over to you. Look, I've told you, sir, I don't want him. Don't waste your time bringing him round. You'll do what you're told. Wait in your office until I hand him over to you. Shaw will work under you, and you will give him all the help and assistance in your power. Understood? Yes, sir. Good. Yes. Detective in, Detective Sergeant Shaw, sir. If you'll excuse me. Ah, Shaw. Um, sit down, sit down. Welcome to Pemberton. Thank you, sir. Detective Sergeant Shaw. You come to terms with it, I hope? With what, sir? Your demotion? I've been demoted, sir. Is it necessary to keep talking about it? You've been transferred to this district under very murky circumstances. Everyone is going to be talking about the famous ex-inspector. If that happens to be a subject on which you're unduly sensitive, I can see you're in for a rough time. Yes. All right. Just one more thing, and then the subject is closed. Keep your hands to yourself in my district. Understand? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. No, Sergeant, it won't. Well, I think you're going to like it here. Plenty going on. Pemberton's a new town, and it's growing rapidly, like our crime figures. You'll be joining a good team. Well, they're a bit grey around the edges and overworked, perhaps, but they're hoping you'll be able to make things easier for us. I'm attaching you to Detective Inspector Nash. You saw him briefly as he came in. Or the old chap? I wouldn't let him hear you say that if I were you. Well, perhaps my recent tribulations have made me oversensitive, but the warm smile of welcome seemed to be conspicuously absent from his face. He doesn't want you. It's understandable. In his shoes, I feel the same. But he's got me, and he'll have to make the best of it. Yes. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell him. Well, let's go across and meet him, shall we? No point in putting off the pleasure. In here, sir. Oh, there you are, Inspector. As you ordered, sir. Good. Well, here's the answer to your prayers. Inspector Nash, Detective Sergeant Shaw. Pleased to meet you, Inspector. This prisoner you hit, Sergeant. One whose jaw you fractured, I mean. There was only one. Little chap, was he? Medium height. Oh, I heard he was little. And handcuffed, I understand. Yes. I beg your pardon? Yes. I see. So there was no fear of him hitting you back then? As long as you were in no danger. Hit one of mine, Sonny. Just one. 
And I'll break you big as you are. Now, I don't think there's any need to stress that point, Inspector. You don't, sir. I feel it can't be stressed too strongly. Your fame has preceded you, sure. As has yours, sir. Your charm and efficiency are the talk of the division. Seven robberies, isn't it? That will do, Shaw. Inspector Nash is your superior officer. Well, I'll leave you two to get acquainted. You know where my office is, should you want me? Awaiting your orders, sir. If you want to request a transfer to another district, you'll find the forms in that cabinet. I'll support your application. Oh, you're too kind. This my desk? Oh, bloody desk did you think it was? I'll assume it's mine. Have I the inspector's permission to look through the case's pending file? Do what you damn well like. Thank you, sir. I'd like to be fully in the picture. Come in. Come right outside, Kendrick. Sir? Until I call you. Sir? In my office, sure. I tell people whether they can come in or not. Oh, good Lord, I only... Very well, sir. I'll remember for the future that you like to tell people to come in. All right, Kendrick. Sorry to bother you, sir. Now, don't you get temperamental? Uh, just at a 999 call from Fullerton's supermarket, sir. Their wages van was ambushed at the corner of Pets Grove. Ambush? We changed the route. Yeah, all right, Kendrick. Come on, away. How much did they get? Close on 2,000 pounds. Where do you think you're going, Shaw? With you, sir. Oh, no. I prefer to work on my own, thank you. Then what do you want me to do, sir? As long as you stay out of my way, Sonny, you can do as you damn well like. Uh, good evening, Kendrick. You all Good evening, Inspector. No, he's gone to division. Oh, well, that's a bit of luck, then. I didn't particularly want to see him tonight. Who's in charge of the job, then? From seven o'clock, it should have been you, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm a bit late, then. It's half past ten, sir. Yes, I suppose it must be. Well, actually, I uh, I had a couple of calls to make on the way in. They held me up. What about Inspector Nash? Is he about? No, oh, he's out, sir. Another ambush. The supermarket this time. Mm, number eight, eh? <laughs> that must have made him split his side. Oh, I'm probably late. Do you, um, do you find it warm in here? Not particularly, sir. Oh. Uh, no, no chance of a cup of coffee, I suppose. I'll see what I can do, sir. Good lad. I'll, uh, I'll be in my office. Bill, a cup of coffee for the inspector. Black and very strong. Oh. Uh, didn't think uh, there'd still be anyone here. Who are you? Detective Sergeant Shaw. Oh. <laughs> they uh, made him take you there. Oh, oh. Might I suggest you sit down? Uh, good idea. I'll uh, sit in the place of honor. I doubt if the laughing policeman will be back tonight. <laughs> well, uh, how are you getting on with him, by the way? I don't think you told me who you were. Jonathan. You take it, Inspector Johnson. Johnny, do you? Oh, glad to know you, sir. What's all this chair stuff? Call me Johnny. You're an inspector. I'm a sergeant. A sergeant? Well, technically, perhaps, but they'll reinstate you in less than a year. Getting on all right with Happy Harry, are you? Well, the first day is always a bit sticky. Come in. Ah, uh, the coffee. Uh, did you bring one in for the sergeant? No, I have one earlier. Oh, the inspector would warn you off a second. Oh, thank you, Constable. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, they don't know how to shut a door quietly, do they? My head's a bit tender. Need rain. Yes. It's a nash usually in the book of Aspen. Oh. They are very good for headaches. Yeah, and so is total abstinence. Eh? Hey? Oh. Well, according to the advert, I'll be in my old smiling self again in 30 seconds. I hit a prisoner once. Big fellow, red hair. I was bringing him in for questioning. And we were walking along side by side, happy and friendly, talking about this and that. When suddenly he boots me one in the ankle with his steel tips. So I belted him, straight back, back in the gut. <laughs> then we carried on walking and talking as if nothing had happened. Made him feel better, I suppose. Oh, that has been watch has stopped. I'll give it a chance. Your boss has had another robbery, they tell me. That's right. Never took you with him? No. 
Queer old devil, that's isn't he? Hmm. You'd think you'd be glad of some help. And this would be uh, number eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, do you uh, do you think we could uh, have a window open? Yeah, sure. He reckons he's had a rough deal, but that haven't we all? He was taken off his last case with the express commander that she's comfortable. Now, that was unfair. They never really gave him a chance. Well, what case was that? Oh, you must have heard of it. A dolly man? What? A dolly man. The papers gave him the name, and it stuck. He assaulted these uh, two young girls. Promised them a doll if they'd go with him. Only young kids. It was headline news a year back. Oh, probably when I was out of the country. So they sent me to Europe to study Interpol methods. Oh, they uh, must have thought a lot of you. Anyway, you missed a fascinating case. The next day, we got a letter at the station signed, The Dolly Man. He told us he was going to attack another kid, and he did. A girl of ten. In all, there were six assaults. And then suddenly, they stopped. Did you get him? No. We had nothing to go on. And he had all the luck. His technique was to jump on the poor little devils from behind, half strangle them, and then rape them. And before it happened, he sent us a letter. Fingerprints, postmarks? No fingerprints, and no postmarks. The letters arrived unstamped. So they took Inspector Nash shot of the case. Well, who did they give it to? Promise not to laugh. You? Yes. I didn't know better than Nash, though, which uh, pleased him no end. There was only one more attack after I took over last August. I had to miss my holiday. And it all stopped. Perhaps he's died. Or married or something. I hope he's dead. Some of those kids... You, uh, you staying here all night? Well, I had intended to wait until Inspector Nash got back. You'll wait until the morning, then. He'd have gone to the Sunday school boys' club tonight. And then stole on the bed. Sunday school? Oh, leading large with the local chapel, he is. Bashes the old Bible out mad when he gets going. <laughs> he loves kids, though, so he's not all that bad. So I'll go lift home. Oh, not all. Good. All I could do is the map. I should have an early night myself, actually. It's the Super Scroll meeting tomorrow. And unless you find statistics in Soling, the tendency to drop off is very strong. Oh, oops. Oh. Oh, give me your keys. I'll drive. Don't you worry, Sergeant. The traffic boys know better than to stop old Johnny Johnson. You'll be all right with me. Safety belt fit all right? Yes, thank you. Never use it myself. You, uh, married, old boy? Yes. Do you? Well, uh, let's say technically... Just like you're a sergeant. I came home one night to find she'd gone. Packed up and gone. I'm sorry to hear that. And so was I. It was the last thing I expected. What? Well, there you are. Just you and the wife? Oh, a little girl. Nine years old. Lovely. I always wanted kids. Perhaps if we'd had one of our own. Hmm. Is it a little smart or... Oh, yeah, that man. The last kid in the attack was not. But nothing since August. No. No harm in being careful, no. We uh, turn off somewhere along here, don't we? Yeah, the next turning. All right. This was all woods when I was a lad. Last house on the left. Okay. They uh, dropped your money, I suppose. I'm on sergeant's prey, if that's what you mean. It's a swine, isn't it? When you're used to more. Here you are, then. All safe and sound, in spite of unvoiced fears. Oh, thanks very much. Will you come in? Well, it's uh, it's a bit late, isn't it? Oh, son, thanks all the same. Uh, next time, eh? Oh, I look forward to it. Uh, uh, just before you go, Osborne. Yes? You couldn't see a way to uh, lend me a few bob, could you? I've, um... Well, I've let myself a bit short this week. I know technically they're different racks, but to all intents and purposes... Well, a pound, do you? You, um... You couldn't manage a cup last time? No. No, of course not. Well, never mind. It'll do me fine. You'll have it back next week when I fail. You ask anyone. Old Johnny's word is his bond. That's all right. I won't forget. If I do, you remind me. Good night, Inspector. Oh, hello. You still up? I thought it would be nice to see you just once today. Well, I told you I'd be late. What have you been doing with yourself? Same as I did yesterday from the day before. Nothing. Oh. Well, it's always rough at first in a strange town. Give it a few days. You'll soon make new friends. Who with? 
The wives of sergeants or the wives of inspectors? Does it really make any difference? Yes. Yes, it does. What are you looking for? Well, we had a bottle of gin. Half a bottle. Oh, right half a bottle. Where is it? We finished it. It's gone. Oh, God. All right. I had it. Makes it easier to bear this empty house all day. How did Sue get out of school? Oh, she loves it. Fine. But we really must try to make a go of it for her sake, Joan. I'm sorry you feel lonely. You get moved around on the Porsche, you know that. I never minded before. Could have stuck you at Land's End, it wouldn't have mattered. You would get you somewhere. They told me you could be the youngest chief superintendent one day, and now you're a sergeant. Well, it may not be for long, Joan. Look, it's as bad for me as it is for you, you well, know. Damn well should be. What did you want to hit him for? Henry, get someone to have a look at my car, would you? I had the devil's own job starting it this morning. Right, you are, sir. Uh, the stupor said he would like to see you, sir. Oh, with Sergeant Shaw. Yeah, what about it? No idea, sir. Shaw sure, has been in to complain, has he? What about, sir? Yeah, never mind. Has uh, that stolen van turned up yet? Oh, no, sir. As soon as it does, let me know. Shaw? Sure. Good morning, Inspector. The superintendent wants... Hey, what are you doing with those files? Just bring myself up to date. Now, don't touch my stuff. It's an office Leave file. Leave it to me. And in future, ask for what you want. And they'll go rummaging around on my desk. Office files should be available to everyone. Are you trying to tell me what I can or can't do? Uh, morning, all. <coughs> seen a load of manure in your travels, out of you? My latest case. Typecasting, if ever I heard it. What, farmyard manure? According to the tersely worded message passed on to me, yes. So, given a favourable wind, I'll find it. Your gang struck again, then, Inspector. Eh? Uh, Seven for eight, unsolved job, isn't it? Almost qualifies for the Guinness Book of Records. Divide with the longest amount of time spent in public houses during working hours. Oh, oh I thought you Sunday school boys were more forgiving. I come in. You don't want me, do you, Kendrick? No, sir. Inspector Johnson. Ah, good. Now, yeah, come on, sure. We must get going. We haven't got all day. Whatever it is, Kendrick, I can't handle it. I'm up to my eyes of manure at the moment. You'd better see this, sir. It came this morning. Whew. I'd hope it's in the last of him. You've completed it with the others? It's the same. Short and to the point, anyway. Another one tomorrow. Signed, the Dolly Man. I won't take up too much of your time, gentlemen. I know you're busy. It's just a brief chat to see how you and Nash are getting on together. How did you find things yesterday, Shaw? Those days are always difficult, sir. Yeah. Your wife settled in all right? Well, she's finding it a bit lonely at first. She'll soon find new friends. And your daughter? Not very happy with her new school. I, uh, I never knew you had a daughter. I don't believe we touched on the subject during our friendly conversation. Yes, I have a daughter. Susan, age nine. Thank you. I see there was another wages job yesterday, Inspector. Yes. This gang is too damn clever. We vary the roots. We vary the days the firm's call at the bank, but the villains always seem to be in the right spot at the right time. What do you make of it, Sean? I can't answer you, sir. I haven't been involved in the case. But you must have gained some impression when you were out with Inspector Nash yesterday. Inspector Nash? I prefer to work on my own, sir. Are you telling me you didn't take him? You know my views on the quality of the assistance I'm offered. Now listen to me, Nash. Could you leave us, please, Sergeant Shaw? Sir? Death. I'm sorry, Johnson. I don't want to be disturbed. I won't keep you, mate, sir. No, no, do wait outside. I'm busy. You can't wait, sir. I'm afraid we'll have to. We've had another letter from the dolly man. Shut that door, will you? Is that it? Yes, sir. Right, let me see. Hmm. Yes. Tomorrow, then. So he says. I buried my head in the sand about this joker. I thought we heard the last of him. Sure. Oh, chance for Inspector Johnson to shine where I failed. No postmark again. It's marked by hand. How does our post come? Through the letterbox? Well, the postman takes it straight through to the office. Oh, well, I presume this letter was shoved through the letterbox. No, it just turned up on the office table when they went in to open the post. Oh, do you mean that somebody just walked in and put it there? Precisely. 
walked into a police station and placed a letter on the table in the office. And where was my highly efficient staff when this was going on? In here listening to you, sir. Forgive me if I don't see this as a joking matter. All right, Johnson, they're taking this letter seriously. You know the drill, use a warning to all schools. Yes, sir. You'll need extra help, so I'm assigning Shaw over to you. Unless Inspector Nash has any objections. Delighted to make the sacrifice. Good. You don't seem too happy, Shaw. Well, I came to the district to work with Inspector Nash, sir. Now you're here, you'll do what I say. You'll be Inspector Johnson from now on. All right? That's all. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, hold on, Inspector Nash. I'd still like that private word with you. Kendrick. Sir? Give me a car round right away. I'm going on a tour of the schools. Already laid on, sir. Good man. Uh, bone to pick with you, Sergeant. Hmm? I was rather hurt at your uh, reluctance to serve under me. I know no catch, but after Nash, I'd have thought you'd have jumped at the chance. Oh, I like to do things the hard way. What's the drill? I'll go with you. I'll call on the local schools, but I want you to phone the outlying ones. Kendrick will give you the list. Get the head teachers to warn the kids, but don't let them panic. I don't want kids kept from school to roam off on their own. What school does your daughter go to? Uh, Manor Grange. That's one of mine. Well, I'll see you when I see you. Oh, no, Kendrick. Not that clapped out heap. Let Inspector Nash have that. I want something decent. Yes, that mistress. No calls for panic. We'll be watching as many schools as we can. Get the parents to meet their children. Yes. Thank you very much. Ten down, three to go. I'll have Westmark School now, please. All right. I'm sorry, sir. I must respect your copyright. Yes, Kendrick. Any idea where Inspector Johnson is, sir? How does it still happen? They don't know a stupid question. He's not back yet, Kendrick. Still touring the schools. Uh, Tango 5 are just bringing in a man they found snooping in the girls' changing room at Wesley Grammar School. Uh, anyone we know? Uh, no details yet, sir. Will you see him when they bring him in? No, my case. I was taken off it, remember? I'll see him. You better wait until Johnson gets back. It's bad psychology to give a suspect time to make up a story. Uh, we're going to have the psychological stuff, are we? Couple of quick jabs in the gut and he'll be ready to cough the lot. CID. Oh, Westmark School. Could I speak to the headmistress, please? Okay, Kendrick, let me know the minute they bring him in. Buddy? Yes, Sarge. In the girls' changing room. That's right, Sarge. Well, I am Shaw. Detective Inspector. Detective Sergeant Shaw. Mm. Make up your mind, then. What's your name? Samuel Merton. You can call me Sammy. Do you smoke, Sammy? Oh, why not? It all comes out of the race, I suppose. Ta. Oh, <laughs> a bit strong. You're in trouble, Sammy boy. What, me? Looking about inside the girls' changing room. Oh, terrible. Hoping to see them get undressed, were you? Ah, no, watch it. There's a limit to what I'll put up with for one lousy cigarette, you know. Can't stay away from them, can you, Sammy? Eh? Can't leave them alone, can you? Who? Oh. The girls. Oh, mm, flatterer. Like right, them young, don't you? Well, I haven't got to think about grannies, if that's what you mean. I'm talking to you, Sammy. Look at me. I was. You were smoking at the constable. He doesn't think you're funny, neither do I. Oh, you can't please everyone. What were you doing in the girls' school? I wasn't doing anything. In the changing room. What were you doing? Why were you there? Well, I'm a ratepayer. Interested in education. I want to see how my money was being spent. All innocent, was it? As a newborn babe. And why did you run away when the policeman came? Well, you hear such stories of police brutality, don't you? In your own interests, I'd advise you to start taking this very seriously, Martin. I'll put my serious face on. How's that? Have you heard of the dolly man? In the top ten, is it? All right, you bet. You'll better find out when you're down to business. Sammy, I'm talking to you. Get the hands off him, Sergeant. You came just in the nick of time, Inspector. This one's got no sense of humor. I'd be obliged if you didn't interfere, sir. In interfere? My... <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you got there, then? He could be the dolly man. Well, then, Sammy Merton. <laughs> I know, I've heard it all. Hey, you don't like having a laugh, Inspector. I tell you something, Shaw. You've gone a mile if a girl even looked at him. Well, no need to get personal. You don't like the ladies, do you, Sammy? Well, you know him. Oh, yes, we know him. Now, come on, Sammy. None of us have got much time. Tell us all about it so we can get back to work. Yes. Just had a headmistress at the girls' school on the phone, sir. Twenty quid. Missing from the office cash box. Oh, down at twenty quid now, Sammy. Oh, 
when there was a time you wouldn't touch anything under 50. Well, it can't be too fussy these days. He's back to money's tied. There was no money on him when we brought him in. Here's your place, Sammy. Down the back seat of the police car. Life holds no mysteries for you, does it, Inspector? You're too predictable, Sammy. You make it easy for us. Ah, he's all yours now, sure. Take his statement down. It'll get your hands occupied. Ready when you are, Sergeant. Uh, let me know if I'm going too fast for you. Lugger lips, Sergeant. Oh, would I? Oh, thanks. I'll see if I get myself a car. Absolutely essential in the country, also. Some of our pubs are miles apart. Well, how did he get on without me? Oh, tired, probably. Huh? I've had a damn fool of myself. Sammy Merton. Oh, you spread fast, isn't it? <laughs> My weakness is not likely to be proved wrong by people I dislike. My weakness is beer. I overindulge. Still, there are worse marshes. It takes your mind off sex. A commodity in short supply in my household. I, uh, told you about my wife, didn't I? Yes. You should have seen this new bird in the pub tonight. After working hours, of course. Could she knock him back? And then uh, quite young, too. I reckon if I played my cards right and had more than uh, seven and a half new pence in my pocket. Oh, um, I owe you a quid, don't I? Oh, no rush. Ah, I forgot to go to the bank. Uh, by the way, I, um, I popped in to see that farmer who had his manure pinched. The way his house smelt, my guess is he had it hidden away in his bedroom. <laughs> And has it? All change? Once again. Thanks. My pleasure. Now, you can't refuse a second time. Come in for a few minutes. Well, I'd, I'd like to, but... Well, no, uh, just for a quick drink. Are you sure it uh, won't put you out? What about your wife? Oh, she'll be glad to see someone. She gets pretty lonely. I know how she feels. Oh, all right. Uh, thank you, all done. Very kind of you. John? Uh, this way, Inspector. All right, thanks. In here. John. Who's that? It's me, Bill. <laughs> Where have you been on the day, Billy boy? Who's that? This is my boss, Inspector Johnson. <clears throat> um, good evening, uh, Mrs. John. You, you never tell me you're a policeman. You two know each other, then? We, uh, we, we, we bumped into each other earlier today. She wasn't the girl in the pub, was she? The one who could really knock it back. You uh, don't want to take any notice of me. Is that the time? I didn't realize it was so late. I'll show you. No, 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 I can find my own way. Until now, I'll buy a good night, Mrs. Shaw. So what's so terrible about going to the pub? What am I supposed to do? Mug in the house all day? I talk to no one. When you come home at night, you're too tired to talk. You married a police. Oh, damn the bloody police. Can't get away from them for a minute. I have to bump into your inspector in the pub, and and, and then that other one calls here. What other one? Kept asking questions about Sue. What school did she go to? Did she go to Sunday school? Did inspector Nash. Yeah, that was him. Kept asking all sorts of questions. <laughs> he wants Sue to go to Sunday school. Does he? Where was Sue when you were out drinking tonight? Mrs. Morton next door sat in for me. Oh, she's a nice woman. Gave her ten shillings. She's glad of the money. Husband's been off work for nearly a year. She'd had to support him. Oh, what's been up with him? Oh, I don't know. Back at work now. So, your pub crawl tonight was really an act of charity for Mrs. Norton. Just one pub. One lousy pub. Oh, don't let's argue anymore. When you're not here, I miss you. And when you are here, we're fine. Oh, don't leave me alone tomorrow night, please. Look, I'll have to. I'm on special duty. We're watching out for a chapel with salt little girls. Around Sue's age. No, sir. Well, nothing to report up to now. A few false alarms, that's all. Well, we're hoping the danger's past now. It's gone half past nine. Most kids should be in bed. Yes, sir. If anything happens, I'll let you know. The super? Oh, yes, sir. He was wondering if the dolly man had struck yet. Probably all worried, Gus, isn't he? He knows I'm in charge tonight. Anyway, I think we can almost sound the all clear. He's never been late on an eight o'clock before. Well, none of his other letters were false alarms. No one's infallible. You know what, Kendrick? I've been studying you. Sir? 
You're ready to take a little more responsibility, my boy. I've decided to let you take complete charge of the station for the next half hour while I pop out and have a drop of supper. You know where to find me if anything blows up. Hello. Anything happened yet? Oh, hello, Inspector. No, he's not dead. Make a move. Probably knows I'm on the case. Uh, it's better me, you mean? Of course not. What are you doing here, anyway? You're, you're not on till tomorrow. I have some papers on my desk. I've got to clear up, then I'm finished. Credit to us all, old sport. I say, do us a turn, would you? Keep an eye on the shop for a couple of minutes, just in case the strain of command proves too much for young Kendrick. As long as Kendrick knows which pub to drag you out of in case of trouble. Oh, I don't know what you mean, old boy. I'll work it on. I'll be gone in a quarter of an hour, whether you're back or not. I'll back the time. I'll be in my office, Kendrick. Right, you are, sir. I thought Inspector Johnson was on tonight. He is. He'll be back soon. Anything happened? Not by case? Well, if nothing's happened by now, we're safe for the night. What do you know about it? You know nothing. You wouldn't recognize that dolly man if he was standing on your nose. Would you? Yes. Anyway, I'm going. You're supposed to be on duty so you can be in charge until Johnson comes back. Before you go, I had a chance to read up on these wage robberies. I've got a theory which might interest you. Nothing you've got to say would interest me. Yes. Inspector. Please, I'm sure I'm off duty. Uh, uh, what's the matter? It's Inspector Johnson, sir. He's just come in. Pubs are shut early. Could you have a look at him, sir? Hmm? I think you should, sir. Yeah, yeah, come on, sure. Good Lord. He just walked in, sir. Then collapsed. Just like that. Right out of the way. Let me see him. Can't find the doctor? Oh, no, sir. Then do so, you fool. Right, Bobby, it's hard, all that weight he carries about. We don't want the doctor. Hmm? Not for what he's got. He's blind, stinking drunk. But he's on duty. He's in charge of the station. He can't be. There's such weather as can't, sir. He is. Come on, Inspector, sir. Wakey, wakey. Well, was that... Was that old boy? That damn stupid fool. Oh, we've got to get him. That... Back to the station. <laughs> what a brilliant team, a drunk inspector and a slapper beside you. Nothing much to choose between the three of us, is there, sir? Perhaps you kindly give me a hand to get him up. Oh, no. I want nothing to do with this. He's all yours. I'm getting out. You're passing by on the other side, inspector. Don't quote the scriptures at me, you drunken lot. It was brought to my notice that a member of the force, whatever his rank, was drunk on duty. I'd have to report him. And you know what that means. I prefer not to know about it. I see no signal, said Nelson. Tell you home, sure. He's probably got a touch of gastric flu. I was gone before he came back. Understand? I understand. Right. Good night. Can you get up, Inspector? Yeah. I, I think I'd, I'd better sit here for a bit. I'll give you a hand into the office. You need a long stick down. If I were you, Sarge, I'd get him out of here. The super has a nasty habit of popping in all evening. Oh, okay. Come on, Inspector Johnson, we're going home. Oh, it, it's at times like this you find out who your friends are. Yes, yes, now come on. No, I'll, I'll be all right in the fresh air here. You never have the windows open in here, damned hot house. Take his other arm, Henry. Now, up here, get Oh, no, this way. Oh. Easy does it. Here we are then, sir. Home, sweet home. Well, going in, old son. It's cold outside. The uh, light switch is on your left. Yeah. Now all is revealed. This place looks better with the lights off, actually. Now, that door on your right. Don't be shy. Come on. Oh, must apologise for the mess. I'll get time to tidy up. So busy. Uh, knock the papers off that chair and sit down. Oh, you sit down. Uh, thank you. If, if you move some of that stuff, you might find another chair underneath. Yeah, how about a cup of coffee? Oh, that'd be nice. Well, tell me where everything is and I'll make it. No, I suppose you will soon. <laughs> you don't know how lucky you are. A lovely wife and a kitty. She didn't mean any harm, you know. In the pub, she was just lonely. The coffee, sir. No, I think we'd better have it black. Not only is it more stimulating, but I haven't got any milk. There's um, there's a jar of instant in the cupboard, uh, top shelf, left hand side. Yeah, I've got it. The uh, other vital ingredients in the trap, which is just above the sink. Use the use the hardest, quicker. Oh. 
On the cops? They're, they're on the side, I think. Oh, you ever did it a bit tonight, Inspector. I went stark raving, man. I saw my wife tonight. After five years, I bump into her in a pub with another man. She wants a divorce. They want to get married. Funny, isn't it? I was here for five years, during which time she could have been dead for all I knew. But the fact that she wants a divorce has shaken me with you. I just sat there and drank and drank. Spent every penny I had on me. Oh, well, I haven't paid you back your credit, have I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, next time I'll spoil, I promise you, next time and that fail. Kept us boiling. Sergeant. Yeah? Your wife. Don't let her go into pubs on her own. Not on her own. Oh, that looks good. One thing I'll say for instant coffee is the right colour. <laughs> That's all. Uh, aren't you having any? No, I've got mine now. You take sugar? Please. Well, your dad in this house, we haven't got any. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's the idea. Be philosophical. Now, look at this room. Go on. Just, just look at it. A pig star, isn't it? <laughs> yes. She used to keep it spotless. God help me if I drop so much as a speck of cigarette ash. I used to stay away from it then because it was so damn clean. Oh, I stay away from it because it looks like this. It's funny, huh? Ooh, you make a rotten cup of coffee, Sergeant Shaw. Oh, it's all right. Just swallow it quickly. You uh, pick up lots of information in pubs, you know. That's why I go. Now, who the hell can that be this time of night? Oh, I'll take it. Good fellow. It's uh, in the hall. Yes? That you, Sarge? Kendrick here. Yeah, what's up? It's happened. A ten-year-old girl. Man jumped on her and tried to rape her. Homewood Avenue. All right, give me the details. Haven't got much. Tango falls on the way over. We've called the ambulance. I'll be there in five minutes. Who was it? I'll deal with it. I've got to go out. I asked you who he was, old boy. The station. Well, they didn't phone to ask after my health. A ten-year-old girl's been assaulted. Shut my coat on. My coat. Oh, I think it would be better if you stayed here. Don't go, sir, but it's still my case, so where are we going? Homewood Avenue. You won't know where that is. It's in the back of beyond. I'll drive. Look, you're not in a fit state. I sober up very quickly when I have to. Now, come on. Now, move back there, please. Yeah, move right back. Let them get the stretcher through, please. Where's the kid's mother? She's going with her in the ambulance. Okay. Right. All right, everyone. That's all there is. If there's any more to see, break it up now, please. You help us all, ladies and gentlemen, if you went home. Please. Right, Sergeant, what have we got? Oh, precious little. He must have jumped enough from these bushes here. Only this time, his long layoff has made him rusty. She was able to scream. So he damn nearly killed her. If we don't catch him soon, we'll have a murder on our hands. Did you get anything from the mother? No. She was nearly hysterical. And so she should be, sending a girl out of that time of night for cigarettes. Oh, we all do our share of stupid things. Ah, you finished, Constable. What uh, help are the great British public able to give you? We knocked at every house, sir. No one saw or heard anything. They were watching a big fight on the telly. This joker's got the devil's own luck, hasn't he? No one saw him, no one heard him. No one has the faintest idea what he looks like, including the girl. Well, I'll circulate this description to all cars. Would you comfortable? Sir? Oh, any lad. Or is it sarcasm? I don't know. I want you to get over to the hospital. Sir. I don't think the girl can tell us any more than the damn all she's told us. But she may remember something when she calms down. You never know your luck. Right, sir. One thing, however the jolly man is, he knows his way around. He made his getaway by cutting down that lane behind the houses. And no one would see him. He probably had a car parked at the end of all the main line. Well, not many people could find that lane in the daytime. He found it in the dark. Perhaps he's lost some carrots. Nothing more we can do here. Well, let's get back to the station and start filling in the required forms. Let's put the fear of death up in. I thought you left the car by that corner. No, over the road. Look out! Did you see who was driving? No. Doesn't matter. Come on, let's get back to that car. Your wife doesn't like being on her own, does she? 
And at this rate, we won't be home before midnight. Where did this come get it? They found it in the office this morning, sir. Lying on top of the post, like the others. Who's been in the office? Well, I didn't see anyone. Inspector Nash took a report in, but I didn't see anyone else. Sorry about last night. I won't make any mistakes on Sunday. Signed, the Dolly Man. Tomorrow? Yes. All these cancelled. I'd better be ready for him this time. It's going to spoil a few people's weekends, but we've got to get him because I think he'll kill the next kid. Can we have that window shut? I thought you Bible punchers liked the sound of church bells. And not when I'm trying to concentrate on something else. That's better. Now, you were showing me your master plan. I'm uh, flattered by your interest. And well, you'll see it better on this map. Now, I've uh, got as many men as possible covering the entire area, ready to concentrate as soon as we know where it's necessary. Are you banking on prevention or capture afterwards? Well, simply capture afterwards. That's the best I can hope for. Now, I've got roadblocks set up here, here, and here. There's your weak spot. The woods. Yes, I know. I've had to take a calculated risk. My spread too thin on the ground as it is. Your master plan has taken into account the fact that I'll be taking a couple of hours off this afternoon, I hope. The Sunday school. You'll warn the kids to watch out, won't you? I'm capable of thinking of something for myself, thank you. Ah, the ex-inspector. How did he go, Sarge? Any joy? False alarm. The man acting suspiciously turned out to be Dutton in plain clothes. We nearly finished up by arresting each other. It's been as quiet as the grave, eh? Mm, I'll speak too soon. Uh, Johnson, Siardi. Oh, hello, Mrs. Shaw. Yeah, it's you, sir. Uh, it's for you, I'm sorry, Mrs. Sir. So, hello? Bill? Yes? I'm leaving now. All right. I should be back by seven. There's no rush. I get custody of Sue, right? That's what she wants. Where is she now? Mrs. Norton next door is looking after her. Are you all right? As well as can be expected in the circumstances. Well, I mustn't keep you. Bill? Yes? Nothing. I'll see you tonight. Goodbye. Goodbye. <coughs> I know I'm nosy, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that one. My wife is popping into town for a couple of hours to arrange a divorce. That's all. I suppose my messing up your weekend didn't help. I'm sorry, old boy. Terrible sorry. Sorry? Sorry, no. If his wife has left him, he's driven her to it. Uncalled for, old boy. What do you know about it? I know a damn sight more about a lot of things than I'm given credit for. Hey, what are those papers doing on your desk, Shaw? I'm sorry. I meant to return them. That from your robbery file. Look, I've told you before. Keep your bruises fist off my stuff. I don't want any help with my cases. If results are anything to go by, sir, I thought you did. I think that's so damn clever, don't you, Sergeant? You'll be laughing on the other side of your face before the day's out, I promise you. I'm going. Yes, you'd better. Say a prayer for me when you get there, won't you? I always do. I am. Miserable old kid. Well, we're sorry to hear your bit of bad news, sir. So, sir. If you want any time off or anything... No. No, thank you. She take your daughter with her? No, she's uh, with the woman next door. She'll be all right. Good. As long as she's safe. No, I'll get it. Sure, C.I.D. Uh, what sort of man, madam? Well, how is he acting suspiciously? No, no, don't you do anything. You keep your child inside and wait. We'll get a car over there right away. Now, just give me the details. Clock watching again, Kendrick. I should have been off today, sir. It makes a long week. Yes, I know. Well, I've uh, just had Sergeant Shaw on the phone. Another false alarm. He's on his way in. I've got so many men lurking about, we've probably scared him off. Maybe. He can bide his time, but we can't. Oh, and then, uh, talking of time, I'm going to nip out for a quick one. The fan seems to have gotten down. Right, you are, sir. You can take ten minutes off and I'll get back. Oh, if anyone wants me, I'm out. Pemberton Police? What's that matter? When? Uh, just a moment. Inspector, take a message. Uh, you better take this, sir. I think this is it. Yes? Yes. 
urgent message to all mobiles. Stand by for important instructions. Re missing child, a girl. Full description to follow shortly. Thank you. Message going out now, sir. Good. What's all this, Simon? Sure. We've been looking all over for you. You didn't pick up your daughter from Sunday school this afternoon, did you? No. Why? Someone did. Over three hours ago. And she hasn't been seen since. Susan Shaw. S-H-A-W. Nine years old. Three foot ten inches. Dark brown hair in a fringe. Brown eyes. Last seen wearing a white cotton dress. Red belt. White pattern tie. Have anyone seen you trick and red boots? Oh, hello, Mr. Shaw. Yes? Yeah. We're looking after you, aren't we? Yes, thank you. Any news, Sir Frank? Uh, no, nothing yet. Oh, she just probably got lost. After all, she's only been living here a week. You don't have hundreds of policemen swarming about because a little girl's lost her way home. Well, a policeman gets very few perks in his job, Mrs. Shaw. The one is that if we can help one of our own, we tend to overdo it. <coughs> yes, Henry. Uh, headquarters just found, sir. The frogman should be here within the half hour. Thank you. No sign of Inspector Nashville. No, sir. Frogman? Uh, yes, the reservoir. I'm going to of course, no. Oh, look, you're going to worry yourself silly staying here. I'll get someone to run you home. Oh, here's your husband. Well, sure. We searched the time school from top to bottom, sir. She's not there. Well, why should she be? They saw a man drive off in a car. Witnesses are sometimes mistaken. We check everything. Oh, Bill, I'm sorry. But it's not your fault. I shouldn't have left her. I was teaching you a lesson. Yes, I know. Do the dinner, the man Oh, um, excuse me, sir. Oh, Hello, Mrs. Any news, Inspector? No, but we'll find it. Don't you worry. Do you want me, Johnson? Uh, just a word in your ear, then. Uh, look, Shaw, you take the wife home. In fact, you better stay with her. No need for you to come back. Well, I want to, sir. No, no, you're too involved. Here. One of my car, Sarge. Meet me back here. Thank you. Come on, Joan. She'll probably be starving when they bring her back. What will you give her to eat? Well, Johnson? Let them go first, sir. I think I know who the dolly man is. What? Nothing definite, just a strong hunch and some good circumstantial evidence. I'm listening. I think it's a member of this police force, sir. Come in and shut the door. If we're here to make fools of ourselves, Johnson, I'd prefer we do it in private. Now, and say that again. I believe that the story man is a member of the force working in this station, sir. Don't that the fact that I'm not saying anything you with the slightest encouragement? All of the attacks have taken place in remote parts of the town, sir. Now, we're looking for someone who would know the district like the back of his hand, as a policeman would have to. Or a taxi driver, or a milkman, aren't you? But take the warning letters. They mysteriously turn up in the office. If a member of the force brought them in, we wouldn't have a mystery. The, uh, the next part's a bit difficult. You mind if I smoke, sir? No, 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 go ahead. Uh, I took over this case with Inspector Nash, as you know, sir. I had to investigate three attacks on kids last year. They all took place miles from anywhere. But on each occasion, I always managed to bump into Inspector Nash, who just happened to be in the area. I don't want to hear any more, Johnson. Let me finish, sir. The last attack, the other night, Homewood Avenue. We were nearly knocked down by a car rolling past at 11 o'clock at night. It was driven by Inspector Nash. Is that all? Nash hates sure of that. He told Shaw earlier on today that he'd be laughing on the other side of his face by the evening. And that's all? Shaw's daughter goes to Nash's Sunday school. She hasn't been seen since. That will do, Johnson. I've never heard such slanted rubbish in my life. If you've got any accusations to make against a brother officer, you'll make them to his face, not behind his back. I'd be glad to do that, sir. If we could find him. Find him? He didn't return to duty this afternoon. I went round to his house to see if anything was wrong. He's gone. What do you mean? He's packed out bag and baggage and gone, sir. Paid his rent up to the end of the week and cleared all his belongings out. He's burnt a lot of papers in the grate. Very efficiently. He told his landlord he was leaving for a long holiday and didn't expect to return to Pemberton. I'm, I'll have one of those cigarettes now. He left today. Yes, sir. I want him. Find him and bring him in. Yes, sir. And Johnson. Sir? If you think he's taken the girl, keep Shaw away from him. I don't want two members of the force on criminal charges. Mm. 
Relax, Sergeant. Turning away like that. You give yourself out of We'll find her, don't worry. It's what it's what he's likely to do to us. Don't think about it. Ask me where we're going. Where are we going? You ever get hunches? Yeah. Mine religiously let me down. Except on the other case. I'm banking on this being an odd occasion. We're going to Whitney's Wood. Hmm? It's a part of the district not covered by roadblocks. One of our Achilles heels. I have a feeling you'll make for this. Detective Inspector Johnson, come in, please. Johnson here? What is it? A message for you from the superintendent, sir. Report just received that a man and a young girl have been seen in the vicinity of Whitney's Wood about 30 minutes ago. Any description of a girl? Yes, that's it, sir. The girl was seen to be struggling and crying. I've got Sergeant Shaw by my son. Oh, uh, just a minute, sir. On, on. The superintendent would like Sergeant Shaw to report back to the station immediately. I'll tell him. I'm uh, three minutes away from the woods. We're switching the main search there, sir. You'll have our full team arriving shortly. Radio cars, dark handles, the lock. Thank you. Over and out. With me is wood, eh? I hate being subordination, Sergeant. So I won't order you back to the station. Thank you, sir. Can we go any faster? Where's Kendrick? Sir? Go with the main party, Kendrick. Sweep round the woods and come in from the other side. We'll go in from here. If anyone's in there, we'll flush them out. You know the drill, sir, Kendrick. All right, sir. You're off. Come on, me. We're going in from the other side. Uh, you with the dog, come here. Sir? We don't know what we're going to find, Sarge. It might be better if you stayed here. I'm coming with you. All right. How'd you make that flea bagger and its keep, Constable? You got anything of the girls, sir? She wore this cardigan this morning. Thank you, sir. Here, boy. Find her, boy. Find her. The dog's going the wrong way. He knows what he's doing, sir. Ah, he's on to something. Don't let him go dashing off on his own. We'll lose him in this life. Get the lead on him. Call him back. This way, sir. Over here. I know you fool. My four minutes, my old days are behind me. Hello? He stopped. He found something. So, over here. We found something. Right. Yeah. May not mean anything, God. Shine it towards just the left. Yes. It's a red boot. I can I just run? Yes. We're on the right track. What was that? Keep it going. There, boy. There. Good dog. Now, listen. Over there, tell the left. Bring the dog. Come on, boy. No, this way. He's on to something over here, sir. All right, let him go. See what it is. Look, sir. By that tree. There's someone over there. Come on, Sarge. Hey, I call this damn thing off. No, no sir. Lead him to us. Go. All right, constable. Blow your whistle. Let another search it over. How is she, son? Whack out, poor kid. She's all right? Yes, of course she's all right. What is that? Ah, uh, you nearly forgot about him. I was the one to do the hitting this time, Sergeant. You get him, Constable, would you? Just around those bushes. It's a dolly, man. Norton? Who's Norton? The husband of the woman who's been looking after my daughter, sir. He's a postman. A postman? No, actually. He delivered to the station. That's how we got the warning letters. He brought them in with the post. Well, the mess is up your theory, isn't it, Johnson? I was uh, hoping you'd forgotten about that, sir. How is it he hadn't troubled us for the past eight months? He's been off sick in hospital. A mental hospital. Discharged himself last week. Well, you've got a lot to thank you for, Inspector. I don't want anyone's thanks. If you hadn't taken the case from me, I'd have had it wrapped up a year ago. A bit of support at the time would have been nice. I was under pressure, you know that. The chief constable wanted a man who could produce results. If you give me some hint that you were making progress... I'm then prepared we... to keep my suspicions to myself until I had some proof. A point to remember. Eh, hey, Johnson? Of course, sir. What put you on to him? Foot slugging, hard work, elimination. 
If over 200 people in this town receiving or who have received treatment for mental or nervous disorders, I checked on every one of them. I whittled it down to ten possibilities, which included Norton. Did you know his own daughter died some years ago when she was 12? Sure. We guessed. We saw the photograph, but we didn't like to ask. That's what started him off, poor devil. He did it badly. You knew that he was our person? I knew he was a person. That's how I got on my job, Jim. He'd know all the ins and outs of the odd places where the attack took place. If I'd known he was our postman, I never dreamt of checking that. Seems so obvious now. You did very well, Matt. Afraid I never really dropped the case when Inspector Johnson took over. I don't know if he noticed me hovering around whenever there was an assault. Yes, I uh, did, as a matter of fact. The attack stopped when Norton went back in the hospital. So that clinched it for me. But I didn't have a shred of proof I could offer a court. If you'd only told me you'd got that far. You were in no mood to listen to. You were more concerned with getting the chief constable off your back. Point Satan. But to be fair to the chief constable, Matt, I must tell you that I was in full agreement with him at the time. Your record of failures was too high. But still, that's all behind us now. You show us what a dangerous detective you are. Now, I want no more arguments. You and Shaw will make a first-class team. I want to see you working together so that we can get all these outstanding cases buttoned up. I'm a certain. Yes, sir. Shaw? Yeah, I was wondering, sir. Would it be possible to have a few words with Inspector Nash in private? Yes, you two should get together. We'll leave you to it. Come on, Johnson. We've got the press conference in half an hour. I think it's usual to lay on some drinks, sir. You can leave that to me if you like. So, we're to be the new crime-fighting team, aren't we, sir? So the superintendent said, sir. You look about as pleased as I do. Well, if we're going to get together, you might as well know there's one or two things I can't stomach. Like taking bribes? Huh? I said like taking bribes. How long have you known? For sure. Today. A phone call came for you. I'm afraid I didn't think I was you. They wanted to know the routes for next week's wages deliveries. Said they never phoned me here. No wonder you're not having much success in solving that case. And I've been looking through some of those files you didn't want me to see. Some of your cases came to a pretty abrupt halt, didn't they? That was when you were paid off, I suppose. How long has it been going on? Long enough. Years? It started when I was a copper on the beat, and that's going back a bit. Bill brought here and there for looking the other way at the right time. Tell is, once the word gets around that you're that way inclined, they won't let you alone. You could always refuse. Only the first time. Then they've got you. Now, don't look down your nose at me. At least I never hit anybody. I've never hit a prisoner in my life. If I had, they'd have busted me. Ah, I'm not one of their blue-eyed boys, you see. I'm not a very good copper, either. Why they made me up to inspect her, I'll never know. I gave them plenty of calls to regret it. I couldn't solve my cases. I was, I was out of a debt. Boys ain't the bother with their bribes. They were safe anyway. <laughs> ah, funny thing. The only case I ever put my heart and soul in was a dolly man. And they took me off, sir. You know I've got to turn you in, sir. I knew you'd be trouble from the start. You had brains. Those files wouldn't fool you. Yeah, I was all packed up, ready to clear out today. I should have been miles away by now. Well, what stopped you? I saw a Norton driving off with your daughter. Thank God you did. You haven't told anyone else? Not yet. Give me... Give me an hour start. Half an hour? I can't. You know I can't. Oh, all right, then. Get it over and done with I thought I'd better take you back to division. Oh, good idea. Let the chief constable see you bring me in. You'll be an inspector again before the end of the week. I thought you'd prefer it to be there rather than here. Oh. Yes. Yes, yeah, thanks. I'd prefer that. Now, when you work with people, it's this way, inspector. Right, madam. I'll have someone round right away. No? Uh, you wait inside. We'll come to the house. Are you going out, Inspector? Ah, uh, yes, with the sun. Will you be long? Yes, i probably gone some little time. Good night, Kendrick. Good night, sir. Good night, Sarge. Good night. Pemberton, please. Oh, I'm afraid he's just gone out, sir. 
No, I don't know when he'll be back. Can anyone else help you? 